Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to export any of the Google Map 3D terrains as FBX file with embedded texture and material. Now you can see this is the Google Map 3D and then I can see all, all of this terrain. For example, the Mountain Everest is also one of the terrain in Google Map 3D and how to export this as FBX file. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. And first I'm going to close everything. Right. First what you are going to do is just go to my video description to get the Google Map 3D Grabber. This is a zip file. You have to download it. And once you download it, you have to extract it into your computer to get the Google Map 3D Grabber. And next is you must make sure your computer already installed the Google Chrome browser. And then you also install, you also have to install the render.1.13 that provided by me and my operating system is Microsoft Windows 10. Install the render.1.13. So make sure all of this you already have. And once you already install everything, then we can start. First, what you're going to do is just open the render doc. And then click file, inject into process at here, type Chrome. Google the, the Chrome means the Google Chrome. Chrome. Next, open the Google Chrome by using the render doc shortcut that given by me. The Google Chrome render doc shortcut. Double click to open and open. If you open by using this, it is going to show you a conversation with totally blank at here. So now you have to come back to the render doc version 1.13. Here click refresh. Then you should be able to see the Google Chrome GPU. Click and then click inject immediately back to here. The GPU starting with PID, you click OK. Now done everything. Your Google Chrome browser restarted. Next, you should be able to see some text at the top here. At the same time, you also can see the black background. Some, something like this. Then you can start everything. All right, first of course, go to the Google map. First step is move your mouse cursor to layer, click more and make sure you turn on the globe view. This is very important. Turn on the globe view at the same time, click the satellite to turn it on. Now you should be able to see the whole world Next, we are going to choose some of the terrain to capture. For example, I go to find the mountain Everest. The mountain Everest. All right, it is at here, the mountain Everest. Then you hold the shift. Use your mouse left button. You should be able to rotate it. Let's say if you are already very sure you want to capture this terrain, then you can close this. And make sure you make it straight like this. Turn the 3D back to 2D, like this. All right. Or you can make it 3D as well. So now, back to the render dot here. The capture after delay, you change it to become five seconds. Then click capture after delay. Immediately back to your Google Chrome and keep on moving and dragging the, the whole map until five seconds, then release your mouse you should be able to see one captures safe. Once done this step, you can just, just minimize it. You should be able to see that in your render doc version 1.13, it have this. That means you already successfully capture. Then I'm going to save this. Right click to save it. Right click, I create a new folder. Mountain Everest 01. I'm going to save it here. Right click, save it, Mountain Everest 01, the file name, Mount Everest 01. Then I click save. It is going to save as RDC file. But always remember in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export any of the terrain as FBX file with embedded texture material. We want the FBX file because the FBX file is a universal 3D models format that you can use it in any other third party 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing software. 
So we are going to make this RDC to become FBX. Now you can close the render dot. You can close the browser. And then the next step, open the Google Map 3D Grabber. You should be able to see there's a Blender 3.0 that provided by me. And here, I already pre-installed the plugin for importing the RDC file. You just need to open the Blender. The next step, click the Edit Preferences. And here you search for Map. Then you should be able to see a Map Models Importer. Make sure you tick it to activate it, then close. Delete these three items. Press Delete button. Then click File, Import. You should be able to see a Google Map Capture RDC. You have to import the RDC file. Then I'm going to, to import from my desktop the Mountain Everest RDC file just now. Double click to open. Then just wait for a while. It is going to load into, load into here. Where is the Mountain Everest? It is here. Click here to activate all of the textures. Maybe you feel these two are extra. These three are extra. You can delete it. Press the delete button to delete it. And the Mountain Everest is set here. Next, you can see all of these terrains. It is just, just a, a lot of meshes. Multiple meshes. We are going to combine all the multiple meshes into just one single mesh. Select everything. Press Ctrl J. Then it is going to combine everything to become just one single mesh. And now everything done. Then you can export it as FBX. So I close this. Inside the same folder here, I'm going to export the FBX at here with embedded materials and texture. How? Click File, Export, FBX. It is on my desktop, the Mountain Everest 01. The file name, name this as Mountain Everest 01. To make sure that all of the material texture embedded inside the FBX file, the path mode you have to change it to copy and also highlight this. Then for this setting, it is automatically embedded all of the materials texture inside the FBX. Click export. Now you can see the FBX file already successfully exported and this FBX file is useful for any other 3D modeling software, 3D animation software, and also the 3D game developing software like Unity or the Unreal Engine, etc. If you double click, it is going to open by using the 3D Viewer in Microsoft Windows 10. Now you can see this is really the Mountain Everest that you exported from the Google Map 3D. This terrain now already exists as FBX file, which you can use it anywhere in, in the third party 3D software. Right, that's all for today about my tutorial on how to export the Google Map 3D terrains as FBX file with embedded materials and texture. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation, and game developing. See you.